What's up guys, in today's video, I will show you guys how to design this logo with PizzaLab application. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is opening PizzaLab application. And yeah, if you don't know how to use this application, just click on the link showing on the screen right now. Let's take you to a place where I explain how to use this application to design logos. Alright, so the first thing I'm doing is creating a shape. Then we are going to reduce the opacity. Then we are going to give it a stroke of 9. Let's take it 9. Then we are also going to make a copy. Alright. Then we are going to put them at the center. Okay, so once we're done with that, then we're going to join the two shapes together. Okay, so we're going to reduce this a little and take it to the back. And we're going to bring this one right here. And change it to S. Okay, of course we're going to change the font. So the font we're using is this one. Okay, we we'll increase it a little and bring it here. We we'll change the color also to black. Okay, so once we're doing that, we're also going to join them together also. Now we're going to create a test and bring it down here. So SRC complaint logo. Okay. So the next thing is we're going to change the image size to YouTube thumbnail. Then I'm going to increase this. I'm also going to change the font. And yeah, the font I'm using, the link to download it is in the video description. So you might want to go there and download it so you can use it for your logo design. Okay, we're also going to change the color also. So black. Let's put this one up a little. Okay, so I'll put it in the middle. Then we're also going to create a copy. Okay, well, we're going to reduce the size and we're going to put it right here. Okay, so so now the next two we're doing is we're going to join everything together. So we've joined everything together. So the next thing we're doing now is to add a texture to it. Okay, so I'm just going to go to texture, click on the image icon, and then I'm going to select the texture, which is this one here. And yeah, also the the link to download the texture is in the video description also. Okay, so we're going to click OK. Then we'll go to the 3D shape and we'll click enabled. We're going to take the depth to 3 Then the dark end, we're going to take it to 80% 80%. Alright Then we're going to go to our shadow 
click on shadow, you click enable, then we we'll take this to 5, the blur radius, we're going to take to 5, and then the offset x, let's take it to minus 3, and 1. Alright, then we'll go to M box, we we'll click enable, we we'll take the bevel to 1, ambient light, take it to 100. And then the intensity, let's take it to maybe like 66. Okay, then the specular hardness, we're going to take it to 30. Okay, then we're going to take the light angle to 60%. Okay, then we reduce it. So the next thing we're going to do now is to import our background. So I'm going to come here, go to from gallery. So I'm just going to select the background. Also, the link to download the background is in the video description. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. So I have the background here, so I'm going to reduce this. I'm going to use 3D rotate to place the logo on the background perfectly. So the Y axis, we're going to take it to 30 degree. Okay, so I'm going to place it right here. Yeah, so we are actually done. It's a simple logo you can try yourself. It's perfectly designed and yeah, so I hope this was helpful guys. Please make sure you like the video. Also, make sure you share the video with someone you feel may find the video helpful. And please, and please, if you watch my video for the first time, please make sure to subscribe right now. Also, let me know what you want, want to post next in the comment section below. Alright, thank you so, so much for watching. Love you all. See you guys in the next video.